to Hokipa Beach Park on the beautiful island of Maui for the 2013 JP Aloha Classic. The last time this event ran, it was 2006, and Josh Angulo narrowly defeated Jason Polakow. At stake at this year's event, the PWA World Wave Sailing title, 30,000 euros in prize money, and a coveted Hokipa title. This year, the JP Aloha Classic is the final event on the PWA World Tour and has seven riders still in contention for the title. Alex Mussolini, Philip Koster, Thomas Traversa, Victor Fernandez Lopez, Marsilio Brown, Leon Jammer, and Ricardo Campello are all in the hunt. We'll also look to see how Cali Sadie looks after a full year off a of tour and not doing any of the European events. Unfortunately, Jason Polakow couldn't compete in this year's Aloha Classic because he had already committed to an event in Mauritius, but his absence should guarantee us epic conditions all week long. The 2013 JP Aloha Classic begins in rippable Hokipa conditions. The head high surf and solid waves are just what the competitors have been waiting for, and heat number one of the single elimination sees the first upsets of the contest, with Ricardo Campello falling to Kevin Pritchard and Russ Ferro. Heat number two, Cowley Sadie and Burnt Rodiger show that they are sailors to be reckoned with, defeating Victor Fernandez and Casey Hauser. Sadie seems to be right back on form after taking a year off a tour, and with just two heats completed, already big names like Fernandez and Capello have been sent to the loser's bracket. Heat number three sees the return of two sailors from injury. Robbie Swift and Matt Pritchard, who both suffered devastating injuries, are looking powerful and in rhythm, picking off set waves and riding with style. Robbie Swift and Matt Pritchard advance. The entire beach has been waiting for heat number four and the return of Robbie Nash to competition, but Alex Mussolini and Bujma Giol's high-flying aerial attack are too much and they advance over Nash and Fabrice Bow. In heat number five, world title contender Marsilio Brown matches up against AWT Tour winner Camille Hubon, young hotshot Antoine Martin, and local Jake Miller. In one of the best heats of the day, Antoine Martin comes out firing, launching into big aerials and shows that he will be a force on tour. But some big crashes where he really needed a landing allows Brown and Hubon to advance. <laughs> Heat number six of the single elimination showcases two top local sailors, Levi Siver and Morgan Niaro against PWA veterans Thomas Traversa and Flo Young. Siver lays down a big 360 and advances with Niaro, essentially ending Traversa's 2013 world title campaign. Conditions continue to improve here at the 2013 JP Aloha Classic, and in heat number seven, we see classic Coquipa conditions. Riding an overmast high surf, Graham Ezzy puts up some giant scores and advances with Jules Zanel over Jammer and Gillimont. In heat number eight, former World Wave Sailing champs Josh Angulo and Francisco Goya try to stop current PWA champ Philip Coster from getting another title. Battling a staph infection, Coster manages to land an amazing forward off the lip, but the fluid wave riding of Angulo and legendary Japanese sailor Masahiro Motohashi are too much and they advance. Heat number nine, Bernd Rodiger, winner of the American Windsurfing Tour event, puts on an amazing display. 
This goiter is one of the highest scoring maneuvers of the contest. Kevin Pritchard also sails a solid heat and advance over Alex Mussolini and Robbie Swift. Here we are halfway through the single elimination in Heat 10 of the Aloha Classic and Graham Ezzy and Morgan Yaro seem to be gaining momentum. They defeat Marsilio Brown and Masahiro Motohashi. Heat number 11 of the single elimination sees Levi Cyber and Josh Angulo defeat Camille Huban and Jules Donnell with some big maneuvers in epic Hokipa conditions. Cyber's amazing pop taka at the end is enough to win the heat. In heat number 12, Cowley Sadie and Matt Pritchard both return to their old form. They defeat Gillimon and Ross Ferro. This is semifinal heat number one of the 2013 JP Aloha Classic and heading out onto the water are Brent Rodiger, Levi Siver, Graham Ezzy, and Matt Pritchard. These are the best conditions we've seen so far and some of the best action. Siver and Rodiger advance to the finals. Cali Sadie, Josh Angulo, Morgan Niaro, and Kevin Pritchard are our sailors for semifinal heat number two. Former World Wave Sailing champ Josh Angulo hits some big aerials but it's not enough, and Seati and Niaro advance to the finals. The whole world is Finals of the 2013 JP Aloha Classic are Cowley Sadie, Levi Cyber, Morgan Niaro, and Bant Rodiger. Like it's getting late in the day, but conditions continue to deliver. Throughout the heat, Cowley Sadie draws some great lines on the wave, getting his board vertical and in the critical sections. Levi Cyber goes huge, landing a late 360 and one of the biggest aerials of the contest. After an exciting heat, Cyber edges out Sadie for the single elimination win. Yeah! Yeah! 
Welcome back to the double elimination ladder of the 2013 JP Aloha Classic. JP, the right stuff for radical action. In the first heat of the double elimination, we have Philip Koster, Victor Fernandez Lopez, and Ricardo Campello, three riders who are all contention for the PWA World Wave Sailing title. One of their campaigns will end now. Good conditions continue at Hokipo Beach Park for the start of the double elimination. In the first heat, Philip Koster, who is weak with staph infection, is eliminated and has to go straight to the hospital after his heat. Ricardo Campello, Victor Fernandez Lopez advance, keeping their world title hopes alive. Notions, criminal lady, framed to perfection, walking in beauty, leather boots and black shades, showing no mercy. In the final heat of the first round of the double, Leon Jammer loses to compatriot Klaus Vogt and an American newcomer to the PWA Wave Tour, Casey Hauser. Next, in Heat 20, Alex Mussolini and Thomas Traversa have to knock out Robbie Nash in order to stay in running for the title. Heat number 24 will knock out one more person from the title race. Campello, Traversa, and Brown go head to head with Bujmal Guillaume. In the end, Campello and Brown advance. In heat number 25, Fernandez and Mussolini take on an on form and freshly back from injury Robbie Swift and an AWT Tour winner Camille Huban. Swift pulls off the second highest wave score of the heat with an 8.75 to win the heat and advance with Mussolini, ending Fernandez's title hopes. Ricardo Campello, Robbie Swift, Josh Angulo, and Graham Ezzy take to the water in heat number 26, pitting two Maui locals against two Maui visitors. Swift is on form again, pulling a massive goiter, and Angulo shows his local knowledge by squeezing Ezzy off of one of the best waves of the heat. Swift and Angulo advance, and Ricardo's title hopes end here, as does the day's competition. Heat number 28 is held in the morning of the next day. Whoever wins between Brown and Mussolini will be crowned the new champ. Brown, Mussolini, Angulo, and Swift battle in light winds and fickle waves. Swift is only able to get two waves in his heat and crashes on an all-important goiter which would have seen him through easily. Angulo picks up small waves but racks up the points. In the end, Brown sails brilliantly to win the heat and becomes the 2013 PWA World Wave Sailing Champion. With the pressure now off, Marsilio Brown sails a great heat against Josh Angulo to take the win and advance in heat number 29. In heat number 30, Morgan Niaro sails a fantastic heat, picking off the best set waves and riding stylistically to end Brown's Hokipa comeback. But that win takes its toll and in heat number 31, Morgan has to drop out with an injured ankle, allowing Bant Rodiger to advance. In heat number 32, Bant Rodiger beats Cowley Sadie in a close fought heat. Bant 
manages to pick up better waves and pulls a sick Taka and a nice connecting wave with a goiter on the end. Cowley's event ends in a respectable third place. In the first heat of the finals, heat number 33, Bant Rodiger takes on Levi Cyber in a winner take all final heat. Levi stays cool, calm, and collected. After watching Burnt rip up the last two heats, he can take the event win. continues, Levi picks up the best set waves and rides them to his first ever victory at Hokipa in front of an adoring home crowd. I don't know what else to say, but I'm just, I'm lost for words, and I'm humbled, and I'm so thankful for all you guys. <laughs> I look out in the crowd, and there's there's a lot of friends in this crowd that are happy for me, and that just makes it like so much better, and thanks everybody. Aloha. <laughs>
The 2013 JP Aloha Classic was a fantastic event held in classic Maui conditions. We witnessed great battles for both the world and event titles. Congratulations to Levi Cyber on his event win and to Marsilio Brown for the PWA World Wave Sailing title. Thank you for watching. This has been the 2013 JP Aloha Classic. Aloha. Oh,